Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Santa Maria, California with Katie Kidman as, well, she is recording her uh, probation meeting. And, uh, well, she has a few complaints along the way, uh, mostly having to do with not being able to film children. Oh, no, Katie. I mean, you are so persecuted, aren't you? I mean, poor little thing. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So, Miss Carrillo, I'm just going to go. You've just been sentenced to probation. We don't usually record these. So we have to check a little bit for but for today, as long as everything's fine, you're good. Okay, okay thank you. Perfect. So I, like I said, I'm Ms. Carrillo. I usually do the misdemeanor intakes. So you are going to be assigned to me at the beginning. Okay. So today, all I'm going to do is just give you an appointment card for okay. our next um, appointment. Okay. But I'm going to go over Because I couldn't fill out the papers because I, I lost my glasses at the courthouse. Okay. So I have so, to go by, get some so I can see and fill this out. Perfect. Yeah. So when you come for your appointment with me, yes, I put it out for Tuesday, of so the thirteenth, which is Tuesday at three p.m. Is that okay? Tuesday, next week. Yes, next week. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that day, can you bring that form with you? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So just, I'm going to go over some of the important terms. When we have our intake appointment, I'll go over everything in detail. And then I'm actually going to have you sign a few forms, okay? But as of right now, let's just go over the important ones, which is term number 10. Do not harm, threaten, molest, or annoy anyone and, or have any contact, especially with Aaron Josie. And then term number 29. Stay away at least 100 yards from all Santa Maria and Lompoc schools slash district offices don't upload videos with minors slash schools. Oh no, Katie, you can't walk onto school property and be a nuisance and pain in the ass to all the administrators there, thereby taking them away from doing their jobs? Oh no, whatever will you do? Here's an idea. You could always go down to the local Walmart and get a job as a people greeter, if that job still even exists, and be an annoying pain in the ass to everybody that walks into Walmart. And then 30 Cal ECPA waiver. Leave any public place when asked to leave by employee or official. Don't upload videos. So just remember those terms. Like I said, when we meet again on Tuesday, we'll go over in detail a few more things, and then um, we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to give you my appointment card. It has my name. You know that on that on that paper right there that they're violating my First Amendment rights as an American citizen? Okay. Take that up with the judge, dumbass. You were trespassed numerous times from schools around California. So therefore, you've got to pay the price for what you did by wreaking havoc around the school system in that state and being an all-around pain in the ass, getting trespassed over and over again until, well, California finally had enough and uh, tried and convicted you of your stupidity. So that's something that you're going to have to address with the court, okay? Yeah. All no, right. I'm appealing the case. Okay. Yes. All right. So this is going to be frozen as soon as the appeal is filed. All right. Well, just keep me updated when you go to court. It's probably going to be frozen before that appointment. Okay. If it happens, just give me a call and let okay. me know. Okay? okay. So my number is on there. Okay. But as of now, these are the terms that you have. Okay. okay. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Yeah. So let me just confirm with you before you leave. Your place of residence, where is it? In my van. Okay. Do you just park it depending wherever? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I travel around. I'm a First Amendment auditor, but the judge is uh, stopping me from practicing my First Amendment rights, so okay. basically I usually drive around from all over the country, Okay. from South Carolina to Florida to California, but they arrested me here for doing my job as a, an investigative reporter okay. on a public sidewalk, so I'm stuck here now and I'm no longer allowed to do my job. All right. For any frauditor, lying is about as easy as breathing. There was just so many damn lies in that 
the judge is not preventing you from ex exercising your First Amendment rights, you douchebag. As long as you don't go around filming children, you'll be fine. And that's your whole freaking problem was that you were going around to schools trying to film children, seeing if, well, are they being, uh, well, abused or anything like that? It's not going to be out in the open like that, you moron. Then there's a the part about being arrested while you were filming on a sidewalk. Uh, no, you were trespassed on school grounds. You came back, as I recall, and when you tried to film again, you ran away and got arrested while you were fleeing. And when they caught up to you, you were on a sidewalk. But originally, you were on school property. Remember now, cameras don't lie, but frauditors certainly do. So with everything that you believe that with your case, mm -hmm. you're going to have to address that with your attorney. Because what happens is now that you are on probation, we have these terms that we have to ensure for the court that you're following, okay? Mm -hmm. But in, so in regards to your place of residence, if you are, if you don't have stable place of residence, then every night you have to call me and let me know where you parked. Because that's how we have to make sure that we stay in contact. So if you find some stability, let's say that you park somewhere for about a good week, or if you stay somewhere for a week, that's perfect. Then you just let me know, hey, I'm gonna be here for a week, and then um, you don't have to call me. Are you time. adding that to my thing over there? No, it's just how I ha need to have your report because you do have a- That would be impossible because your police officers here stop me and I park somewhere, they give me a ticket, they make me move. I'd be calling you two or three times a night, so if you don't mind that. No, I don't mind. Well, that's because uh, you park in residential areas and tend to bother the locals, so they really want you gone, and they end up calling the police, and they give you a 72-hour warning and all that, and uh, if you don't leave, they'll arrest you after 72 hours. It's as simple as that. You do it all the damn time. You post it all the damn time. And then your number is this number that you listen. And basically, to? I park in the middle of nowhere, so I don't know how I'm going to be able to tell you an address or where I'm at. Or I mean, yeah. Well, just do so what you guys are asking me to do is basically park my van in a corner somewhere and hide inside of it. Don't get out. Don't do my job. Don't report anything. Um, don't investigate any anybody that's that's corrupted or doing things wrong to children. My question to you, Katie, is. How do you know who's doing what with those children? Because all you do is go and walk around filming the schools and not actually go into the buildings. Because guess what? They're not going to let any dumbass just walk right in there and uh, start filming all the children. Because that will definitely get the parents upset that some random person walks right up into a building, starts filming children under the guise of, oh, I'm just making sure they're not being abused or anything like that. Bullshit. If you really felt that way, I mean seriously felt that the children's life, lives were in danger, then what you should have done to begin with was get yourself a job as a paraprofessional or something like that and actually go into some of these classrooms after you get hired and observe what's going on. That is, of course, if you don't have a criminal record involving anything to do with children. And just let all that stuff go and let them continue. No, I'm asking you. That's what this paper is telling know. me to do. Okay, so if you have any issues with any terms, just make sure you talk to your attorney. I'm just letting you know that we need to know if you change your place of residence. So that's what we're addressing. I don't have a residence, so it can't, yeah, it that's can't be changed. To talk about our... And it's impossible for me to tell you where I park every night, so... Okay, I well, won't be we'll doing, have to address that with the court. I won't be able to do that. Okay, we'll All have right. to address that with the court. Okay. Anyways. You guys made me homeless, so if you want me to have a a permanent residence somewhere, maybe you should contact. We can contact. help you with housing. We can yeah. help you with housing. Oh, we'll talk about that at our interview. I've been acti asking them about that for the last, what, 11 years? Okay, we can definitely help you with housing. We'll look into it. And I can definitely go over that at our intake. Um, just to confirm because my number. public defender told me he was going to help me with that too. And, oh, good. And he forgot already. So I hope you don't forget. No, I won't. And you know what? I am just going to leave it right here and leave you with the message, Katie. A lesson that you should have learned many years ago, like I did, like many of us have.
Take responsibility for your own actions. Stop blaming everybody else for your problems. Understand what your problems are. And, well, fix those problems as much as you can. Otherwise, you'll end up like a Katie Kidman. Oh, wait. You are Katie Kidman. So, yeah. That's why you uh, are pretty much homeless and everything like that. You screwed up your own life and... uh refuse to accept responsibility for your own actions, and uh, have ended up in this particular situation. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry I didn't know you were a complete and total moron, and have continued to make these mistakes over and over and over again, like you seem to do. And there is a word Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?